Is anyone else noticing that like Roblox is, you know, like adding a lot of new stuff recently? Like, you know, they just updated the UI. Uh, they just added, you know, a bunch of new, you know, sound stuff. They still cannot, oh, man, I, this, this upsets me so much. We have particle emitters. Okay. So look, look at this, look at this. Let me, let me show you real quick. Okay. If I add a particle emitter to a part, you know, it emits particles fairly simple. And then I can customize this and I can, you know, do a lot of cool stuff with this, but then we got sparkles. Okay. Which are particle emitters, but worse, we have fire. It's literally just like a template for particle emitters, right? Which I think is a little stupid personally. I, I don't like the fact that these exist. And the third one, which I'm, which is the one I'm going to be talking about is smoke. So very similarly, I have smoke with Roblox. Okay. Because I actually really enjoy the idea of smoke. Like here's the thing, right? The, the things that I, I just discussed before, like fire and, you know, like sparkles, like they're basically useless. Okay. But the thing is smoke could have offered us something which I think would have been really cool, some sort of like blinding effect. Now hear me out, Roblox could detect that if the player's camera was in the smoke, then maybe automatically you would get some smoke overlay on you. Like, I don't exactly know how that would work. I don't know, I just feel like smoke had a lot of potential and instead it's just being wasted on being a worse particle emitter. What can smoke actually do? You can change the color, okay? We have opacity, which should be fairly obvious. Zero is it's fully opaque. One is it's not opaque. Unless I'm, wait, no, opaque. Bro, look, I'm not, I'm not a native English speaker, okay? Just one makes it fully visible, zero makes it fully invisible. You got the rise velocity, which basically just determines how fast it actually rises up. And okay, you know, you have the smoke coming up pretty fast. <clears throat> Pause. You can change the size of each individual, you know, smoke particle, um, or you can make it huge and do something like this, which I actually, I think looks pretty cool. And then time scale should be fairly obvious, just Yep. There we go. Okay. So my, what are my, what are my issues with the smoke? Okay. Well, number one, why can't we increase the time scale? Why is this the fastest that it can go? Um, and I guess you could say like, oh, but you know, you can actually increase the speed like this, but then the issue becomes like, it's too high up. Why can't I determine the, um, how long it takes for a smoke particle to actually like stop, right? Why cannot I, I determine how many particles are released, right? Why can't I determine the shape? So what if I wanted smoke? Cause right now it's being released in like a cone shape, right? What if I wanted it to be released in like a box shape? or just in a straight line. I cannot do this, okay? Now I can, I am able to do this on a particle emitter. So particle emitters do have all of this. They have the lifetime, they have the um, um, the rotation speed, they, they have the, you know, they have the speed. Again, my, my main gripe with smoke is just that I think it's wasted. I think it's a useless item. And while you might say, oh, but you know, it's actually fine because of, um, you know, X thing. Like bro, look, the meat writing, the meat writing for smoke is crazy. Look, you know for a fact that this just doesn't, belong here. Like in an ideal world, smoke wouldn't be a thing. I like the concept. Okay. So what many people have said is, is, oh, but you know, like, you know, stuff like sparkles and, you know, smoke and fire, uh, you know, they're, they're good because you know, they're easy. Right. So instead of having it to make a particle emitter and then, you know, make it, make it a sparkle, I could just add sparkles. Right. But why have them as items? That's my question. Why? What, okay. What about, okay. I'll give you an easy fix right now. Maybe just have a property inside a particle emitter called template. Okay. And then that template, uh, you can, you know, it's going to be like a drop down menu. So similar to this, it's going to be a drop down menu. Okay. And then it's going to let you pick like from fire, sparkles, smoke, or custom. Okay. Custom will give you all of these options, right? But then if you select fire, then all of these options will just, you know, go away. Okay. And then you'll just get the fire or you'll just get the sparkles or you'll just get the smoke, right? That'd be a good change, right? Because then now you don't need a bunch of these dumb little items when you just have a particle emitter. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't see the point in overcomplicating a lot of this. Go check out the description and comments for courses. You get the deal, you get the gist. And we are back to basics. Thank you for watching.